Hi guys! Dorota Palska International, nail artist and navigator here, and today we are going to create a beautiful cat eye designs. Like this is going to be a snowman, candlelight, and a Christmas bubble. You can have a wee preview in here. And I love this effect so much, really beautiful and interesting uh, with uh, not over the top designs. So I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. I wanted to show you like uh, different angles of this design because it looks so pretty and it is an effect which is pretty hard to catch on the camera. Uh, if you can see it, we have kind of painted like a Christmas bubble and we have used and cut eye gel polishes for it and I show you like different types of designs which you can create it. I think it's a pretty interesting uh, style of the nails. So um, I've got my tips in here so I can put this one on the side. And we are going to use the black tips. Uh, you could just paint the nails in a black color, but also I have found it that the cut eye works on different colors as well, so it don't need to be necessary black. And uh, for this tutorial, I have chosen the black because on the black is much easier to explain the things and the effect is much uh, stronger. So it will be um, also better for you to follow uh, this design. So I'm just giving a scratches to my tip and then remove the dust. Uh, I've got my mixing palette and I've got like a few different colors of the cut eye effect. So I'll be just putting them on the side and we will be using them for this design. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, painting, uh, first of all, painting the Christmas bubble. So that will be a kind of easy one. Make sure you paint it at really decent size, just so the cut eye effect is visible. And what is great, like with the Christmas bubbles, you can create so many different shapes of the bubbles. So this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this one is kind of like an, I don't know, rhombus shape-ish. Okay, and once we have painted the first layer, I'm going to use the magnet to get the cut eye effect. So I'm pushing uh, my bits and pieces of the metal on the one side, on the bottom, and on the other side. And depending what kind of effect you want, you will um, do it either stronger or lighter. I wanted it to go a little bit more to the one side. Okay, so I've got one side more empty and the other side is much stronger. Now it is a time to give it a cure. On this tip, just so it is easier for me to do a uh, few more designs for you, on this tip we are going to paint the snowman. So I've got another cut eye on my mixing palette, which is in a silver color. Now the silver color is from the Born Pretty, the other colors are from the uh, Up Voltage. And this one is, I have no number, but it was called Snow Light. If I could remember, it was called Snow Light. So here we are going to paint a cute snowman. I'm 
really decent size as well. Okay, so I have painted the first uh, bottom bowl and then get the cut eye effect. I want on the top to have a little bit more shadow and the bottom to be really intense. Okay, so I've got a little wee shadow on the top and then the bottom is very intense. Now the Christmas bubble, on the top of it we want to have something which is holding this bubble, so you just paint like a wee square piece. Again, pretty decent size. And I made it a little bit too big. Let me wipe it. <laughs> okay, so the square part and then very small lines. Take the cut eye magnet, come close, twist it a little bit and push it to the one side. Come from other side and look at like how my magnet's going and twist it, twist it, push it and come from the top as well. Twist the magnet so the effect is really nice and strong. Give it a cure. Another part for the snowman. So again, decent size head. Now let's make it a nice and rounded shape. Okay, cure it. Again, from the bottom I want more stronger color, so I'm coming in from the side. Twist my magnet. Coming in from the bottom. Twist my magnet. Coming in from the top. Twist my magnet. Okay, so I've got a Nice effect again. Give it a cure. Okay, time from the Christmas bubble. So we can see it, the effect is really, really nice. We need to add some branches. So I'm going to use some kind of green color. And the branch is going to be a pretty decent size going through the hole. Okay, so we painted this and now I'm going to create a couple of the wee messy parts. Just so you can see it is like a Christmas tree. And then take the magnet. The only problem with it is like we have to apply the magnet effect on the each layer. So that's why I decided to do two designs at the one time. And when you will be working on the client's hands, you can see it effect again. When you will be working on the client's hands, you will be swapping the hand. So one hand, other hand, and this way you can get a, a really nice um, effect. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. And now I want to pick up those blue color, or maybe pink. Let's do pink. And we are going to paint uh, the scarf.
Okay, so the scarf is done. Get the cut eye effect. I'm not sure what I want really. Maybe more on the one side. Yes, more on the one side is better. Give it a cure. Now the Christmas bubble, we want to kind of give it a more interesting look to it. So I'm just going to take the blue cat eye, which we had, and I'm going to paint some wines. Actually, I could maybe mix it. Let's try mix it. Why not? Okay, I have mixed it pink and blue. I've got my mixing palette here, so mix it pink and blue. I have no clue what color I have created, but I'm going to paint the lines. Okay, so the first line created, get the cut eye effect. And I'm glad I mix it because it's a slightly different shadow, like a slightly different shade. Give it a cure. Now the snowman is going to have a cute hat. Use the cat eye magnet. You kind of move it the way you want it, really. Uh, so check it like sometimes you might want it at the effect to be more into one side, sometimes you might want the effect to go like mm, more on the bottom, just so those designs are more interesting. Okay, I'm picking up my mixture and going to do another line in here. And the lines I want to be kind of pretty decent size. I would say kind of quite thick. Okay, give it a cure. And the snowman, so pompon. Actually, I'm going to mix a tiny bit of the silver one with the blue and the pink one I've got. I like to kind of do a different type of mixture and got, get that messy look. Okay, so make a rounded shape and then go and make a couple of the wee lines. So we've got the pompon. Get the cat eye effect. And I wanted it to be quite strong, so I will be moving it into different... That's it, I'm happy. So I'm really happy. Give it a cure. Clean my brush just because I had some silver in there. And let's go with into the Christmas bubble. If this is your one of your first uh, tutorials uh, with me, there is another one like uh, where I'm talking through the cut eye effect for the beginners, like how to achieve different results as well. So that might be a worth to watch it first before you move into more complicated designs. Okay, that's as cute actually, Snowman. <laughs> and we need to add uh, him some hands. So I'm just picking up a small blob of the product. One hand. 
this is kind of risky i should do one hand and then get the cut eye effect and do the second hand but i will do it two at the one time It was risky actually because uh, each time when I'm moving the magnet on the one side, the other side is disappearing. So um, don't try to speed up this design. You really have to do it one part before you can move on into the next part if you want to get the effect nice. Okay, another. And then give it a flash cure. <laughs> this is so cool. I will also show you a uh, different types of design as well. So the part with the cut eye, I'm pretty happy with it. But of course, the snowman missed some detail. And I'm going to paint quickly this detail. Uh, so I will use a drop of the upvoted black ink. Oh, actually, I've got some. And we're going to do his eyes. Make them kind of really visible. And then the smile. So for the smile, I'm doing lots of tiny wee black dots. And the buttons. Give it a cure. Okay, so the Christmas uh, bubble looks pretty nice already, but I want this effect to stand out more. And to achieve that, we have to apply the matte top coat. So I'm just using the upvoted matte top gel on the entire tip. And this way the design will pop out even more, especially that this is only kind of visible in a certain certain angles uh, so applying the smart top coat is really helpful and making the design to pop out much more okay the snowman needs a cute nose as well so i've got a tiny bit of yellow and i'm using the color plus gels for it so a drop of yellow Got some red on the side, so I'm going to use it. No, I'm not going to use it because it has those metal pieces. So let me just grab the normal red. We need to create a nice orangey color for a carrot. <laughs> okay, so a cute small nose. I don't want it to be too big, so just a tiny one. Give it a cure. I'm going to clean my brush and then using the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel, we are going to outline the Christmas bubble. Okay, so all the design become matte. And now I'm just taking a top coat. Let me clean my brush. So I have cleaned my brush with the top coat, wiped it off just because I had some red in there. And now I'm going to outline what we have painted. So this way you should be able to see the design much better. And also you could uh, raise the design as well. So like when it comes to the Christmas Bible, we could make it, it uh, even with the um, gel, to make it kind of 3D.
Now you can see it how the designs start showing up. And the reflection from the light is disappearing on the other parts, which is absolutely fab. If it does happen that you have tried this design and you really like them, hashtag Dorota Palitska on the Instagram. I will be very happy to see them as well. Okay, I'm just checking, making sure I'm both lining it pretty nice. And then we've got the branch, which is on the top. So we can see it once we start putting the top coat, everything is showing up really nice. Okay, and then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to put it inside the lamp and give it a cure. And it's a time to do exactly the same on our snowman. He's actually cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply the matte top coat first. You guys always see me like uh, applying the top coats and colors quite a long time because what I'm doing is I'm checking. You can see it like how I'm twisting the design into different angles because I'm checking how the top coat is reflecting in the light. And this is really important if you want to have a really nice final results. Uh, so I always tend to do that. Now I have to wait a couple seconds longer to give it a cure. So maybe I can quickly show you another design. So let's say mm, what we can do. We can do some candle. Yeah, why not? So the green part, I want it to be very, very large. Get the cut eye effect. <clears throat> okay, the snowman is ready. We can apply the top coat over him. So I'm cleaning my brush again to remove any bits and pieces. And now we are going to make the snowman nice. It's actually a cute snowman. I think any kind of design would really work um, for those cut eyes. I would suggest you kind of stick to a simple road. So, you know, you could do it like on simple flowers with it. Uh, don't go into too much uh, detail because you need to have like kind of large, um, large parts of the designs where the effect is visible. I have tried it on a smaller ones and it wasn't as effective. Um, so definitely anything which is kind of pretty decent in size would look absolutely fantastic. Now I've got dilemma. Should I put the sparkle, the top coat on the other parts as well? Because I quite like it in matte as well. Cameraman, what do you think? Leave it matte. Leave it matte. Okay. Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. And the snowman is standing out even more as well. Or we could do like a knitted look with the top coat. I will try it and to see if it's going to work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'm overdoing this design, but 
You can always just slap the top coat all over it. Yeah, we've got the knitted <laughs> look. <laughs> So let me see what we've got in here. Okay, we're going to paint the candle in this one. So another green branch. Just in there. Get the cat eye look. Flash cure it. And now we are going to use some red color. for our candle. So color that in. The top is kind of rounded. I wanted it to be decent size, so. And then get the cat eye effect. On the red is not as strong, I've got the feeling. Again, I want to move everything in more into the one side. So it's kind of look like I've got a wee shadow. The first one should be ready, actually. Yes, it is. So I've got another one for you. Actually, I should keep it on the on the tip so I can move it and show you the effect. Okay, so you can see it at the different angles. I'm moving it especially so you could see the look of it. Now the candle one. I have no yellow, so I'm going to try something <laughs> to create my yellow. Maybe it wouldn't work, but I think it should actually. I've got a yellow color plus gel. And I'm just going to paint it the, the fire look. I'm actually really curious if it is going to work or not. Okay, I'm going to give it a cure. The snowman should be ready as well. So that's our cute snowman. Yeah, and I like it that he has those uh, matte hat. <laughs> but let's test it, how it will look if we apply the silver one. I just pick up a drop of the fresh one. So silver one going on top of our yellow. It will work. Yes, it does work. I'm not sure if I want this effect. Cameraman is showing a thumbs up. But I'm maybe more on the side. Yeah, I just Oh gosh, I don't know what I want. I'm horrible. I am. Or more on the bottom. 
more on the bottom yeah. because yeah it looks like it's flaming <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> oh my goodness okay so yes i'm i'm pretty happy with this one now give it a cure gosh like a child you know playing with his toys in a sandbox <laughs> with all those different effects. So I'm just going to quickly cure it and then apply the matte top coat so we can uh, get the effect. But uh, this is what we have created today. Uh, pretty nice and interesting uh, cat eye effects. And here's another idea. So I was playing with this one. Uh, it's done exactly the same like this Christmas bubble, just into the love heart shape. I think it's a pretty nice effect too. Well, let me finish the candle one for you. So a matte top coat. Again, checking how the light is reflecting. If I'm happy, I'm not happy in here. Okay, I'm happy. Give it a cure. And then apply the top coat. See those designs actually they don't exist in a different angles so I love the snow one. I don't know which one is my favorite one. Let me know which one you prefer guys. I like the snow one. I love the like the love. Oh gosh I don't know which one. The, the flame from the candle is the best because it looks like it's flaming like. Okay now it's the time to make it nice and shiny and pop out. I should start with the flame because that was the nicest part. It almost looks like it's lighting up. I'll be sitting like this and playing now with it. Yeah, but here the share button so the others can see it as well. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future tutorials. So there's lots of different ones coming up. Uh, I've been really busy recording uh, all the different ideas for you guys just to keep you busy. And so you can learn new things as well. Again, I'm checking how the top coat is uh, reflecting into the design. And that's that's how the candle looks. I love this flame. This is so cool. Okay, I'm going to put it. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> I'm going to put it to the lamp. And then basically that's our design finished. But I want to show you this one one more time because I think it's so pretty. Oh, cameraman, find it for me. Thank you so much. I was trying different things. Actually, one stroke looks so cool as well on the cat eye. I was painting some. Uh, so the one stroke looks super cool on the cat eye as well. I think I'm going to do more designs with the cat eye because they are so popular now. So I've got some. Uh, I had the question also, guys, what I'm using to stick my tips. So this is a blue tack. Mm, I don't think so. It is available everywhere. I have only find it out in Scotland, England, like that's they've got something like this. But yeah, now I can show you the effects on this Neil. So it's so cool. The candle one is cooked, so I can show you the candle one as well. Look at this flame. This is so awesome. Okay, so we've got those two. And the third one. And the snowman as a fourth cameraman is playing with the light just to show you these designs. Uh, yeah, but I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below and I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.